Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I brought me some new palettes from Perpera. The shadows from these palettes are said to be usable not only as eyeshadows, but also as blushers, for shading, and brows as well. So let me start reviewing these new palettes from Perpera. Perpera's All Take Mood Technique Palette. Released in two separate palettes, the All Take Mood Technique palettes are said to be multi-skill master palettes. Each palette consists of 12 shades with 7 mattes and 5 pearl shadows. Among the matte shadows, the larger size shadows are said to be usable for shading or as blushers, and the dark colors are said to be suitable for use on the brows, triangle zones, and as an eyeliner. In addition, these palettes are known to be creation palettes as the colors have been lined up in a way that allows you to easily mix and match colors in any direction, reducing any frustrations you might have when it comes to deciding on how to combine the colors. In order to enhance various moods and tones, the palette is said to be designed with the light mood colors on the top, and as you move down the palette, the mood of the colors intensifies as they get darker. While the matte shadows tend to have fallout, they boost high color application and adhesion, and among the 7 matte shadows, there's a matte jelly shadow which wasn't in the original All Take Mood palette. As the shadow is somewhat like a cream, it applies on well without any fallout, but as it's susceptible to clumping, I recommend applying it with caution. When applying it on with a brush, it can cause the brush to get sticky and greasy, so it's probably best to apply them on directly with your fingers. I find that two of the five pearl shadows are shimmer and the other three to be gorgeous glitters. Although the glitter on the left sticks right onto the skin as it's applied, it can apply looking slightly clumpy, so I would suggest dabbing it on instead. Aside from that, the rest of the glitters are wet glitters which apply on really moistly and the application is no joke. When testing out the shadows, I didn't find the texture of the shadows to be all that different from the shadows of Altengu palette, so I would say that they're quite similar in texture. From just simply looking at the palettes, they look to be low saturated palettes, but upon applying them on, I realized that the colors of these palettes are more saturated than what I expected. But as the saturation is not too high, they seem to be good colors for daily use. So now let's take a look at a swatch of all colors from each palette one by one. All Take Mood Technique Palette number 1 Around Brown This is said to be a palette with daily nude brown colors to sensual reddish shade moods. Basic Start is a beige basic base color. Fantasy Gleaming is a shimmer metallic pearl with shimmery pearls. Brown Moment is a soft medium brown color. Nudie Ending Cut is a nude base color that is infused with peach, which is also good to use as a blusher. Dandelion Crumble is a clear, pearly gold glitter. Sparkle Fantasy is a jewel salt glitter that is densely packed with gold orange glitter. Waiting to 30 is a sunny apricot color that has soaked up the midday sunlight, which works great as a blusher. Blushed Frame is a reddish shade color, which is also great as a blusher. Flash Click is a pop-out glitter with gold, copper, and pink glitters blended in a fine burgundy base. Blazing Breeze is a sunset-like reddish brick color. Illusion Mood is a reddish copper color metallic pearl. Dipping the brown is a soft deep brown matte jelly that can be used on the brows or as a liner. All in all, this is a palette that can create daily brown makeup looks to sensual reddish shaded moods. All Take Mood Technique Palette number 2 Shall We Cherry This is said to be a muted mauve pink color palette with a subtle and atmospheric mood. Lonesome Heart is a pink beige base color. Just Stunning is a brightening champagne shimmer pearl that is great for highlighting the lower eyelid. In Your Pink is a soft pink tone matte jelly that works great as a blusher. Exclusive Ash is a slightly pinkish feeling muted ash shade color that is also great for shading. Holo Lighting is a holocomb glitter that shines green, gold, and pink depending on the light. Cherry Bubble Fizz is a cherry glitter of 5 colors that pops. Hurry Cherry Up is a mauve cherry color with a hint of mute which is great as a blusher. Already Bloom is a subdued toned down dry rose shade color which can also be used as a shade blusher as well. Glitzy Closure is a burgundy leather glitter with green, pink, and blue pearls. Feeling Myself is a pinky brown color mixed with ash. 
Magenta Edge is a metallic pearl with a purple burgundy color. Purplish Dark is a deep purple brown color. This is a palette that can create a muted pink look with a subtle mauve cherry mood. Like this, I've shown you all the colors from the two palettes, and since the colors from both palettes are neither too warm nor too cool, I think they'll go well with both warm and cool tones. The colors in the palette combine very well with each other, so I think you'll be able to mix and match the colors to create a look with the colors that you like or looks that suit you well. First, I'll do a full shading with basic start on my eyelid and also on the bridge of my nose. I'll add a deeper shading with nude ending cut. Then I'll add depth to the outer edges of my eyes with brown moment and mix weighting 230 and blush frame to apply on the same area but in narrower fashion. After I'm done with my eyeline, mascara and eyebrow, I'll apply on dipping the brown as I smudge the eyeline. I'll also apply it on the outer corner areas by leaving some space. I'll give some point on the head of the eyes with sparkle fantasy and apply dandelion crumble on the front of my eyelid and lower eyelid. Then, by applying nude ending cut and weighting 230 mixed together, my daily shade makeup is done. I also did a look with number 2 palette in case you're curious about how it can look or be used. I'll shade my eyelid with In Your Pink and also add some shade with exclusive ash on the bridge of my nose and only onto the crease area. Next, I'll apply Hurry Cherry up slightly over my double eyelid line and also onto the lower eyelid line. Then I'll give outer edges of my eyes some depth with filling myself and also apply it on the outer corner areas as well. After I'm done with eyeline, mascara, and eyebrow, I'll give more depth to the outer edges of my eyes with purplish dark and also apply it onto the lower eyelid line. Next, I'll apply cherry bubble fizz onto the inner corner and hollow lighting on the front of my eyelid and lower eyelid. Then by applying Hurry Cherry up as a blusher and contouring the outer area of my face with exclusive ash, the Cherish Moment makeup which is perfect for both warm and cool tones is done. Like this, I've shown you the swatch of all colors of Pear Pear's new All Take Moon Technique palette and a makeup look with each palette. Since the shadow composition is so diverse with the colors being able to mix and match with each other so well, I think that it's most likely a palette that would also be easy to use even for beginners. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.